What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. Here on the channel, we discuss all things audio and video, like new movies and new AV equipment. So if it's your first time here, consider tapping that subscribe button for new weekly videos. Today, we'll be checking out 1995's Ghost in the Shell on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not gonna review the movie itself, I'm just gonna share with you some of my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now, let's just go over a few tech specs. The movie is, of course, animated. It's got a 4K DI. Runtime is 83 minutes. Aspect ratio is 185 by 1. So it will fill up your TV screens. Normally I don't do animated movies, but this one is a classic and I remember it coming out way back when I was a teenager. That being said, it is a very clean looking transfer. I think there might be some noise reduction being used to give it that clean look. So the image does have that smooth, soft appearance. It's not soft to where it's blurry, but the artwork for the most part doesn't have that extra sharpness. It's also pretty much grain free, but you can faintly see it there in some darker shots. There's also the occasional dirt or print marks that pop up. They're like little black or white specks on the film. You might not notice it unless you're looking for it, but they're there. As for HDR usage, it's very mild at best. The colors and black levels are decent looking, though I don't think it's anything that impressive. You might think so, but if you didn't know better, you'd probably think it was just a regular Blu-ray. Audio gets a new Dolby Atmos mix in both American and Japanese languages, and the original two-channel Japanese track is included. I of course listened to the new Atmos mix, and I thought it was alright. There's a lot of overhead activity, but it comes more in the way of having the lower surrounds extend up top, so it doesn't always sound natural. Let's say if people are talking or shooting a gun, dialogue or gunshots would just be up there. It's not really loud or distracting, but you can definitely hear it over your head. Now there are some good natural overhead effects when the helicopters are flying around towards the end and there's some decent back to front during the shootout in chapter 4 when the car pulls up. But like I said, the gun shootout here isn't very natural sounding. I actually prefer the two channel version for this part. Base response was decent, so gunshots and explosions have good impact, but it was nothing mind blowing. You're not going to be disappointed, it just wasn't anything crazy. Dialogue was fine for whatever mix you choose, so everyone was always easy to hear. So for audio, I'm going to go with a 6.9. Sometimes when these older movies get a new remix, it doesn't always sound natural. And I felt that was the case here. It's cool that you have sound above your head, but if it doesn't always sound realistic, then what's the point? Don't get me wrong, there were still some effects that followed what you saw on screen accurately, but as a whole, I thought it was just an okay mix. For video, I'm going to go 7.8. This is a clean transfer, albeit softer than what I was expecting. It's grain free for all the grain haters out there, and the HDR I felt was okay too. So that's my take on this new 4K transfer of Ghost in the Shell. What did you guys think of the transfer? Leave a comment and let us know. Now if you want to grab this movie, I'll leave a link for it down below in the video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can find us on social media, and if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again in the next video.